In this video, I will explain how to create longer videos in Pika Labs in a few simple steps. So first up, what we're going to do is we're going to generate a video. First, let's describe our story. So for our example, we'll be using cars driving in the night anime style. And we'll be putting in an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. And let's uh, generate the image. Or the video rather then our video will start generating so let's wait for it to be uh, finished okay so once our video is done generating let's go ahead and check it out so what we're going to do next is we're going to um, download the video and then uh, we'll save the video for later or let's head on over to final frame which um, we will take the final frame of the video and we will use the final frame of it for our next prompt. So let's uh, place the video right here. Or let's um, add a video. Then just look for the video. So for example, we'll look for the video and we'll just copy it to the videos tab. Okay, so... Let's add the video and uh, click on the video that uh, you've generated. Then it will process the video. Okay, so once it's processed, let's click on the final frame of the current clip. Just download it and uh, download this frame. And then it uh, will be downloaded for us. So what we're going to do next is let's head on over to Pika Labs again. And we will generate another video. So let's use um the final frame of the video as a reference for our next prompt so just go ahead and drag on your file right here and uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to be using the same prompt but we'll be adding in a seed so uh, the seed will be found in the in the video so let's head on over it will be found in the la in the name of the file so as you can see there is a seed right here just copy in the paste or copy in the seed and then paste it right over here then so what we're going to do next is we're going to generate a new video with the uh, following uh, image reference and the seed just click on generate and we'll wait for our video to generate okay so now that we have our video generated uh, as you can see, there's sometimes there will be some in inconsistencies in the uh, prompt. So just go ahead and uh, try it out again or try a new prompt. So for us, we will be downloading this video. And then for in order for us to um, make the video longer, just uh, put in the two videos in uh, Premiere Pro or what editing software you'll be using. So for me, I'll for example, I'll put in the first clip. And then I'll put in the second clip. So as you can see, we have uh, made the video longer, but sometimes there will be uh, in inconsistencies in the prompt. So just try and try for better consistencies in the video, in the video, and uh, you will get better results over time. So that's about it. Drop a comment below to let me know if this was helpful or if you need any more assistance. Your feedback is super important to me. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that follow button. Your support really helps in reaching more people who could benefit from this video.